I apologise in advance if I keep clearing my throat. <clears throat> I choked on my sandwich du canard. Um, I've had a lovely drive. I've had a, it's been a beautiful, beautiful drive. It was a really cold start to the morning. There was frost when I was up in the night because I didn't sleep particularly well. It had dropped, no, this morning it had dropped to just, just above minus one. Um, so it's very cold. And I, um, we um, had agreed that I'd have to drive myself today to the rheumatologist, which is about just less than an hour away. So an hour in each direction. <clears throat> um, so I was pretty, pretty pissed off this morning when, when we sat waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Still no bastards been, still nothing. And I drove off, you know, and thought, well, it's just the way it is. But the scenery on my way up and on my way back has just absolutely uplifted me. Um, it's it's so beautiful. I had my on the way back. I had my sunglasses on, and that sort of intensifies intensifies the colours. But um, on my way there, I passed a chateau, and I think it's Tufano, and I can't remember because we don't go that way that often nowadays. But I think it's Chateau de Tufano, Tufano, and in this light, in the morning light, um, the sun's shining on it, and it's it's sort of got a sort of an orangey pink stone. It's just beautiful, just beautiful. And um, because I was on my way for my appointment, even though I'd set off early, I couldn't stop and take a photo or, or do a vlog because I needed to get there because I wanted to go to the loo. Comme d'habitude, <clears throat> to to, for me to drive 50 minutes each way and not go to the loo is a big thing. Um, so I thought, you can bet your sweet life, if I stop and do a vlog here, I'll... Not only will I be pushing it then for time, but I'll be desperate for the loo. And I wanted to arrive in good time to be able to go use the loo, la la la. So that was beautiful. And then um, coming back, I came back a way that we used to travel cross country. <coughs> and it was just stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, lots of lovely little hamlets that I drove through. Um, a nice um, little a little town I think Plumar town is a little town that's got a big cupboard um, old sort of wooden and, and tiled cupboard market area in the square came through there haven't been through there for for yonks <clears throat> and then drove up down to San Pierre de Maya but if I had had um, if I hadn't have been driving I would have been able to film it um, because it was just beautiful. It would have been quite a long vlog because I wouldn't have known when to stop because it was just all beautiful. That you know, you come past houses that had got red robin growing in them. We've got red red robin growing out the front, and it's really pretty with the sun on it in a moment. At the moment, <clears throat> the red leaves, you know, have got the light. They're sort of quite translucent with the light coming through them, and it's also coming into flower. So I'm passing houses that have got, you know, the full scythe here just going over, red robin looking really lovely. And some of them have really sort of shaped their red robin um, bushes, which is it's just really pretty. And then, of course, the uh, oilseed rape fields um, contrasting against the deep blue sky. And then I've got sunglasses on, as I say. So I'm going through some woods. Um, and you can see all the different colours coming on the trees. You know, there's some greens and some sort of orangey colours and <clears throat> just lovely. So it's really uplifted me, which I needed because I cried before I left this morning. <clears throat> I cried with um, frustration, I suppose, and impotence because I can't, I hate not being able to do anything. I'm, I'm, I'm normally in control and this I can't control. I sent a text to the electrician saying, can you tell us when you're going to start? We've got several medical appointments this week. We need to know, you know, people need to be here to let people in. I sent an email to the people that are supposed to start doing the shutters yesterday, we thought. And we thought, surely they'll be here today and they're not. They might be here this afternoon. <clears throat> we need to go out this afternoon because I've got several prescriptions to fill. Some for Mark. I need to pick up the... Um, the injections for him um, to take with him for his rheumatology appointment tomorrow and I need to pick up my replacement Met uh, Metoject, the one that failed 
last uh, a week ago Sunday and my rheumatologist has augmented I think that's what she augment augment augmented my methotrexate and has given me two prescriptions one a bit higher than my normal one and I can alternate to try and just get on top of the the, the remains of the discomfort um, traveling without mark <coughs> physically was difficult because my thumbs have been bad for a couple of days <clears throat> and um they're 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 feeble so they're weak and painful i'm dropping stuff all the time and so driving and hanging on to the steering wheel was really difficult because i couldn't grip with my thumbs and it put me in mind of when i had carpal tunnel syndrome and i couldn't get comfortable on the steering wheel it was the same today <clears throat> So that was annoying, but not having him with me meant that I could formulate my French. I could think about what I was going to say, think about words that I needed to remember um, to make it much easier once I was with her, because I, I sort of get struck dumb when I'm in front of her. I don't, I don't know why. I think she talks to me as if I know what she's talking about. Um, and but but today it was it it felt easy. I still didn't understand completely some of what she was saying. But she, she's what a lot of the consultants do here is um, uh, they'll write the letter to your doctor in front of you. So they use a, a software, a, a speech to type software. So she speaks into her mic and it comes and then she prints the letter out and I bring the letter away and then I'll scan it and send it to my doctor so he can see what she said and I can read and translate what she said so that is always helpful um, but she's confirmed it's rheumatoid arthritis that I'm now fighting in my hands and that my polymyalgia rheumatica is, is sort of on the back seat so she's increased the methotrexate slightly to try and um, I suppose we would use the word titrate in the UK titrate it a bit <clears throat> and then when I come back, she wants me to try, once I come back from Canada, she wants me to try and reduce the steroids. And I want to try and reduce the steroids um, because they're, you know, I, I, I can, I, if the methotrexate is now doing the job, I need to try and come down off the steroids. Quite difficult. And then she mentioned about, you know, about the hairs on my face because of the steroids. And I'm thinking, oh, thanks. I can't see them. I, I do see them now and again. I know they're there, but I've had them before steroids it's not it's not new I, I don't think i've grown a full beard yet <clears throat> so um i don't know whether anybody will turn up this afternoon but we do need to go to the pharmacy to get some prescriptions filled and that's it really um i'm tired mark's gone to bed now for a siesta i won't go and disturb him in there i'm gonna um i'm not gonna use that word that i used and then discovered it meant something else so i'm gonna chill I'm going to chill for a bit on the um, on my game. <clears throat> Enjoy the view, the sunny view from the window of the empty driveway. And what's the time? Ten to one and hope that maybe in an hour or so. Somebody might drive onto the driveway. I bought the car back in. We keep moving the car off and putting it in the lay by across the road. Well, I pulled it back in. I thought, I bet you if I bring it back and put it in the carport, they'll they'll come. So that will be a good thing. So that's that. So it's Tuesday. Is it? Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday. And um, oh, and last night, I don't normally wash my hair at night because you have to dry it. And holding a hairdryer has never been very easy for me over the years. And I dried it, which is why it looks a bit puffy. That's all I can say, or foofy, um, but whatever, I did that. Okay, have a nice day. <clears throat> I hope you're having a beautiful spring-like day where you live.